folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today is gonna be just a little bit of silliness. We have a set of 20 inch wheels. Actually, the rears are 20s and the fronts are 18s. We got them off a 64 Impala. We've had them sitting up in the garage for a while and I got the crazy idea. You know what? Let's get some wheel adapters and see if they'll fit on the Gator. So let's try it and see if the John Deere Gator will ride on 20s. Know what I'm saying? All right. I realize this is not at all farm related, but sometimes you gotta have fun if you got a farm. So let's have some fun. So I've had these wheels sitting up on a shelf in here in the garage in the hopes that, you know, we might find another project car to work on. But in the meantime, let's have some fun. That's what life's all about anyway, right? All right, so this wheel, this is a 245-45ZR18. <laughs> and it really doesn't look that much bigger than the Gators tires that are currently on it. Let me show you the adapter kit also. So the front ones are 18s and the rears are 20s. I'll tell you what size those are when we get back to the rear. But this is the adapter kit and it's a 1.25 inch spacer that's going to offset the wheels out about that far so that they don't jam up underneath here and hit anything, hopefully. Now, I'm not positive on these things, but we do have some other spacers up here that came with the wheels that we might be able to use too. So that's a lot of wheel to go underneath the gator. Let's show you what they look like side by side. It's really not that big of a difference, but it's still a lot of wheel. Let's show you. So here's the current wheel and here's the new wheel. I'm gonna say it's about four inches difference in the current wheel and the new wheel. Let's jack it up, get busy. The 19 millimeter. Love my DeWalt Impact, great tool. Now, the Gator doesn't have lug nuts, it has lug bolts. So that may pose a problem to us. When I bought this Gator, I bought it, I bought John Deere products because I thought John Deere products were made in the USA. It's not true. Do your research when you buy a product. I don't think any tractors or any of these XUVs are made or side-by-sides are made in the USA completely. If you know of a company that's all American, post it down there in the link. I want to support American companies. That's why I got this Magpul hat on. So the shocks have an adjustment here. I'll get you in a little closer and show you, but I can't seem to find my adjustment tool. I might have to search around the shop a little bit and adjust the shocks all the way out so it raises it up. But let's try the first wheel first and maybe we won't have to do anything. So here's our adapter. Now, we've got one of them started. Let's see if our lug bolts will work here. Looks like they will. I have a pain in the butt to get them started. Looks like we gotta get a different 19 millimeter. We'll use this little guy. There we go. Now ah, we're cooking. So we'll just get it hand tightened on there. There we go. While we're tightening on those, we can Loosen the other studs. I like a good loose stud. Set these guys down. Throw them on the impact and tighten them down. I hope nobody from Craftsman's watching. I think I voided my warranty right there. Now for the moment of truth. <laughs> it looks like they're gonna fit. The next question we gotta ask ourselves is will the wheel turn okay? If the wheel will turn okay, we're in good shape. So let's work smarter, not harder. Get our trusty bar stool here, or our trusty car stool. Guys, if you don't have one of these around your shop, what a handy dandy device. This little uh, stool here, let me show you. This is from Northern Tool, but I'll post a link down below. Uh, there are several different brands of uh, shop stool, but man, how handy is it to have a place to store all your nuts and bolts underneath you and a fully adjustable uh, stool so I can raise it up. It's got a little shock, a little spring to it, and it saves your knees. Now we can get busy. So we got our wheel on. Let's turn our wheel and see. She's gonna clear. And everything looks, it's close. There's one little spot on this plastic that it's rubbing, but looks pretty good. We really won't know until we let the gator down. Let's put the other one on and then we'll let the gator down and give her a try. It's a good looking set of wheels too. These are the Boss Motorsports wheels. I just didn't feel like putting them on Craigslist to sell them. I didn't want to fool with people. I think this is a much better fit. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to go and see if I can find the shock adjustment tool. That way I can raise the gator up just a little bit and give it a little more clearance. So I couldn't find the exact tool that fits this. So basically all you have to do is take a pair of large channel locks and 
crank it up, okay? And you see these notches? That's the highest notch right there, and I'll just crank it all the way up. There we go. What this thing does is it compresses the spring and brings the gator up just a little bit. I'd been thinking about lifting the gator up for a long time. If I'd have known it was that simple, I would have just already done it. Good gracious, that was so simple. I lost a little tool. It's somewhere, it's not lost, but it's farm lost, if you know what I mean. Sometimes things get placed in different areas and I need to organize them a little bit better. That's why we've been working cleaning the shop out, getting it organized, and then my other shed is basically nuts and bolts and tiny parts. Gotta be organized on the farm. Folks, I'm gonna take a second to rant with you. I was watching TV and saw an Allstate or Geico or some insurance commercial talking to young men who had a flat tire who were stranded and we're waiting for their insurance company to come and change the tire for them. What are we teaching folks nowadays? What are we teaching folks? Folks, if you have a child or you have a young man or a young woman or a wife or a husband and you don't know how to change a tire, you're doing yourself an injustice. A person with a college education should know how to change a tire. It's absolutely ridiculous to think that you would have to sit for an hour and a half to wait for some guy to come out and change your tire. How ridiculous could you be to not know how to change a tire? I hope this is guilting you into learning it. I understand that some people don't learn it and some people don't want to know, but good gracious, a five minute job and you could be on your way versus sitting there for two hours waiting for someone to help you. A young man should know how to change a tire on his vehicle. Teach your kids this stuff. All right, so we've got both wheels on and clearance is not an issue. So we're gonna go ahead and let it down and see what it looks like once we let it down. Nice, <laughs> look at that, sexy. Something we failed to do was chalk the tires. I'm gonna let the rear back down. So the emergency brake only holds the rear tires. All right, back up we go. Now let's see if the rear tires work as good as the front tires. I think they'll be just fine. They're a little bit bigger. There's a ton of clearance back here. Got a little bit of mud on there. I'm gonna scrape it off with a wire brush. So we wanna make sure this surface is fairly even and not really rusty, okay? Slap this guy on there. So here is the 20 and here is the factory wheel. Not, not that big of a difference. Let's, let's check out the footprint here. Really not that big a difference. Check them out. Except for one of them likes to fall over. Fits on there nicely. This is a 275-40ZR20. <laughs> this thing's huge. I had no idea these things would fit. If you guys are looking to pimp out your gator like this, now you know, 20s will fit. 18s will fit in the front. I don't know if 20s will fit in the front, but I know 18s will. The 20s might be a little bit big, but uh, you know, this is hot riding. That's why we're doing this. People might wonder like, oh, why are you doing this? Just hot riding out the gator, man. Good stuff. I imagine I'll be lacking on power a little bit, putting these gigantic wheels on here, but I imagine my top speed might be a little bit better. We'll see. The final thing I'm gonna do is crank up this last shock on the back side here. It's pretty simple. All I'm doing is just tightening up spring tension. Now for all you master mechanics, I know that this is not the right size lug nut for this wheel. I already know that, okay? If you wanna leave that down in the comments, that's fine, but I already know it, so thank you. Woo! Let's let her down and see how she does. Doesn't appear there's gonna be a problem. I think it's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> it's so cool. Bling bling, baby. Now it's time for Stony Ridge product placement. <laughs> tub of towels, guys. I use tub of towels all the time here in the shop. My hands get dirty. I'm a registered nurse by trade. It's a product I believe in. I'll post a link down below. Tub of towels doesn't sponsor me or anything like that. It's just a product I believe in here on the farm. Nobody sponsors me. I, I just show you products that I believe in. And that's my black and blue finger. Let's do the reveal. Let's get this thing out. So just look at the stance of this thing, how it stands out now. Uh, the wheels stick out quite a bit from the fenders and it just has a meaner look to it to me. It just looks, I think it just looks sweet. It looks totally awesome. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> 
guys, thanks so much for watching today. We'll cruise around on the Gator. I do get a little bit of rub when I turn to the left and to the right if I turn it really, really sharp, but it looks good. I think it looks great. Post me a comment down there. Click that thumbs up, click that like button. Tell me what you think. This is just goofing around, having fun on the farm. I think it looks awesome. Good times. Let's go for a ride. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids.